Hello everyone, welcome to Raise Aerospace and Terraformers. This game just got its full release today as of my recording. It is in version 1.0. It had been in early access and available, but I hadn't played it in early access because I had way too many games involving colonizing Mars that I hadn't played yet. So I had them all in my inventory, so I didn't pick this one up, but it finally got its full release, so I decided to buy it and it was at uh, $16 on Steam so I decided that that was a reasonable price to give it a go and we will so I've got these settings and we'll just go with that and I will play so Mars colonization project with a suspiciously ITS looking sort of thing there okay when the bar is full victory is achieved okay um, support of your people. If it reaches zero, your project will have been deemed a failure. So we need to construct buildings for support. Now we have to choose a leader. We have 300 victory points, so click on the large button in the bottom right. Okay. Um, Pekai Ayad. Okay. Nobel Peace Prize. Oh, well, that sounds familiar. <laughs> And then the other one is Thomas Forrester, daring expeditions to Earth's most remote locations. I don't know why. Wait, while her influence guaranteed equality for of opportunity for all Mars settlers, her zealous crusade for justice afforded her a reputation of cynicism in the name of the greater. I don't understand that at all. Okay, um, climbed Mount Everest in his early twenties. Uh, too typical. Uh, he's too typical, but let's let's see what their benefits are. Explore location, mine resources, and supply station. Silicates boost. Pretty cities. Explore location, industrial lobbying. Interclass dialogue center. Supply station. I feel like this is heavily stacked against Pekai Ayad, frankly. So I'll go with. Pekai Ayad. <laughs> I mean, um, okay, increasing the population will let us expand our city and get some initial support. Population requires food. Earth has kindly provided us with the essential projects to produce food and grow our population. Let's visit our city where we can construct the greenhouse farm. Okay. First Martian city where we can construct buildings. The maximum amount of buildings the city can have is shown above the city name. Maximum locations and buildings. Okay, so we can have five right now. Okay, dictated by its amount of population and robots. Well, we've got robots. Let's build the greenhouse farm now. Okay. Right. I guess greenhouse farm. Okay, and we have little slots here, so we don't arrange anything. Construction project costs resources. We should find a resource deposit instead of a mine. Exploring is one of your skills. So let's explore a location with a large hint of a resource. Oh, there's a little thing landing. Okay. Like we just picked those up. Oh, we can. We're spending power to remove them. Oh, fine. It feels a lot like Terraforming Mars, the board game. I never played Terraforming Mars, the game version of it, because it wasn't very well reviewed. This is very well reviewed. It's very positive on Steam and everything. Unexplored location. I guess we could do that. Large hint of tritium. I like tritium. Titanium and nitrates. So, we click that. Explore that. Okay, collect resources, tritium, titanium, nitrates, and then that leads to other locations we can explore. We spent some power in order to explore it. Okay, we need to expand our city to the location with the deposit before we can build a mine on it. Each population or robots allow your city to expand to one more location. We don't have enough food at the moment to build the habitation module project that increases our population, but our greenhouse farm produces one food per turn. We will have enough food next turn. End turn. Okay, research projects. 
Each year, three projects will be proposed from which you can research one. Researching a project allows you to construct it later once you have the resources. Um, tritium thermal generator. Well, we're going to have tritium. I mean, we've got a greenhouse. Do I need a tuber farm as well? But then again, everybody likes potatoes. And we're going to have nitrates because uh, we're going to unlock that. This requires nitrates and silicates for lab. Science is important. But we seem to spend a lot of power on things. So if we're not generating power, that's going to be trouble. So we'll research that. So that would be like... I mean, if you talk about tritium, we're, we're doing fusion then, huh? It says an adverse version, advanced version of the RTG suitable for small outposts. I don't know if tritium is what you want for an RTG, but okay. Explore. Happy. There's a happy. Exploration milestone. Okay, the flat plains of this location offer plenty of space for the constru construction of a large city. The lack of protective geographic features leaves it vulnerable to harsh winds and sandstorms. This location has a feature which will surely be a symbolic landmark to people. What feature is that? <laughs> um, care to be more specific? And we have tritium and nitrates. I mean, okay, well, uh, founding a city here will reduce our comfort of living. But our people are too happy. They've got 122 happiness. I object to any happiness above 100. So, oh, not enough resources. We've got enough food, not enough water. It's always water. We, we didn't have a building project that allowed us to get water. Industrial lobbying, gain one water, and other things. Already use a skill this turn. Oh, we can only use the skill once. We should have gotten... Well, only one water is not going to do anything. Habitation module. Cost 30 food. Okay, well, 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 they want us to increase our population, so... We'll just connect it to... Here. I have 300 victory points. The victory points are up there. We only have five. Support income. So, just the happiness gives us victory points. Resource income, resource income combination, trade routes, trade routes from mines, project suggestions, total project researches, and then terraforming steps. Expand a location, construct a mine. Well, I would love to construct a mine. Your exploration party is, uh, we have to control this location. To expand to this location, first increase the population of the nearby city, then click on the expansion button. This is the expansion button. Okay. It only has a tritium deposit here. But I guess we should start with this one. Okay. We have eight points now. Okay, next. Research projects. Oh, we didn't never research greenhouse farm? What? Wait, I thought I already picked tritium thermal generator last time. It's like little cards down here. Well, there's the Valus Marineris. Can we use a skill here? Okay, we got industrial lobbying. I just wanted to do that once. Okay, um, I don't know what I should do this turn. Earth has established a permanent trade route with us. I sure hope so. Okay. Trade with Earth. Let's see, open trade panel. Export, we can't, oh. I guess we can only export one thing? Maximum total exports reached. I don't even know how you export power, but. You know how to export food. Tritium, yeah, let's send them tritium. Import water, export tritium. That seems fair, right? Automatically traded every turn. Okay. We definitely need water. I have no idea what we were doing without water in the first place. Okay, I guess we should explore more. This seems like a big hub. 
will be submerged if the ocean rises to level 3. I feel like we don't have to worry about that yet. Let's explore this lo location. Titanium deposit. Lost supply crates. Oh, we found lost supply crates. Okay. Cities. So there's a uh, info panel. I don't know about these robots. Provides two robots. I mean, we've got power and we've got titanium, so I guess we ought to, right? Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. We can build it like that. All right. Oh, I understand now. Okay, once we get one of these cards, we can build it in a location. Okay. We've got too many of the tritium things then. <laughs> okay, but uh, yeah, sure. Now we've got a robot hub. Now we got five population there. And we can expand this uh, titanium deposit and build a mine. Okay, now I get it. Far away from the city, expanding here will result in one unhappiness per turn. We're only getting one per turn as it is, so let's not do that right now. But then again, I mean, here it'll also be one happiness per turn, right? But we can't do that yet. We need to explore more. Let's just explore this. Free science. Okay. There's a happy... I mean, I thought there was a happiness thing associated with this one anyway. I think we should try it. Alright, we've we've got unhappy things. Exploration satellites from Earth. Array of exploration satellites to map out remote regions. Okay, I guess we should get them. So, waste incinerator. Plus one power per turn if at least three food is being produced. No, we're not there yet, really. Public baths. Jeez. That's too... That's too ostentatious for Mars. Come on. They should all be in still suits. Definitely a greenhouse farm. Explore a location with satellites. Okay. Explore locations with exploration satellites. Um... No, let's see this happy place. Plus 20 support. A crater which would be a great location to start a new city. A symbolic landmark again. At least, I guess the crater makes sense for that. So we should try to expand over here. And so we need to build more habitation modules here. Hopefully that'll be an option soon. Well, she can also explore one. But maybe we should get the industrial lobbying. Yeah, I'll get the industrial lobbying for this one. We already used the satellite to explore one location. Habitation module. Yeah, we'll... get that ready. I, I, I thought I was supposed to build a city here. It's there. Nothing but red rocks. Found city. That place can have a city. This place, I guess, can't have a city. Exploration milestone over there. Alright. Collect resources. Okay, next turn. Rising expectations. Well... Uh, minus five support. Uh, the expectations of your population go up. This negatively impacts your happy support income and if not cared for. So they have increased expectations. They want public baths, I guess? Tuber farms. They want tuber farms, maybe. Nitrates can produce tuber farms. Okay, so we really need to improve expect- Ooh, that's not good. Well, maybe we should explore this happy zone. 
That's a positive event. Plus 30 support. That'll hold us over for a little bit. Okay. But yeah, I guess we should do something over here that will make people happy. Well, the thermo generators aren't going to. Let's just increase food. It's got other benefits as well. But we'll have to try and research public baths or something. Hospital? Oh, plus seven support per turn for a hospital. Well, I don't mind keeping them healthy or anything. We'll need a lot more science, though. Well, we'll hopefully that'll still be there. Oh, it's not still here. Robot Hub Lab for science and a habitation module. Can we get a mulligan for that? No. Of course not. We could make another robot hub. I don't know if they're gonna be happy with robot hubs though. So let's just lay off. Let's use her exploration power to explore this area, get three science. Um, that'll be submerged as a happy zone here. Let's use the satellite to explore this happy zone, get that support in water. Oh, extra food. We're close to being able to find another city here. I can still research a project. Yeah, but you're not giving me good ones. No, we'll try and have a lab down here ready to go just in case. We do need science. Okay, magnetic fusion plant. Brine electrolyzer. Plus two happy support per turn for every building that costs water? Well, we'll have some that costs water. Negative two happy support. No. I guess we'll prepare to brine electrolyzer. Okay. We're gonna try and found another city and maybe that'll help things, maybe it won't. All adjacent locations need to be explored before you can settle. Now you tell me. Okay. Well, fine. Explore that one. Get those. Well, we'll have to explore these two first. Well, I'll just wait to the next turn. This year marks the beginning of a new term and it's time to choose a new leader. Please give me more choices. Retiring. Gosh. That was quick. Artificial intelligence. Oh no, not them. <laughs> Energy savings. No, I want somebody who can boost happiness. But uh, two more projects are proposed this turn. Gain three science. Hmm. Machine learning. I don't want AI robots. Really. Destroy two rocks for free this turn. Modular apartments. Oh, you get more happiness if they're next to more apartments. That's not generally how that works, but okay. Rural constructions. Does that make any sense here? 15% less resources. Increases your science for every six robots. I'm not all in on robots. I feel like this is gonna be all in on robots. We'll try construction. 3D printing. I like 3D printing. Modular apartments. Okay, that Marsha. Oh, that is a nuclear plant. Population is fully protected from radiation. Okay. Oh, uh, it's not a power plant. It's a nuclear protection house. A radiation protection house. They say research projects, but they're things that we can build. They're not really things that we're researching. The lab takes five nitrates and five silicates. We've got those. Let's build a lab. Oh, wrong place.
We can build another greenhouse farm. But I wanted to save up for building a city over here. No satellite to use. We can only do one explore. We'll just explore that one. We'll collect some silicates and water and such. Okay. And I want to hold on to my resources for now, so next. Courthouse. Wasn't expecting that one. Plus two comfort of living. Well, that's what they wanted, right? Resonance station. Greenhouse. Um, well, we've already got one prepared for that. Well, if they could be more comfortable with this, I guess we'll make it. Let's do that. Um, I'm assuming you don't have to be adjacent to it. Okay, that did help. My support change is now uh, just minus one. Founding a new city. I've been thinking about find founding a new city this whole time. Can you explore this location so we can do that? And we got some extra food there. Alright, now can we found a city? Yes we can. Um, I don't know, what do we call this? I'll just take the default. Headquarters, this seems very very central. Okay, we've got that. And they're coming in. Hey, it's we're even plus one now. Pretty cities. Okay. Modular apartments. Oh, we, we need to click that to get the modular apartments, that's right. Well, we can explore a location with satellite, and this one will increase happiness, so let's do that. Collect resources, yep. Okay, so, 26 victory points so far. Next. To increase their prestige, three big corporations are offering a gift of resources to one of your cities. Water, I think. Right? We can produce the power and the titanium. I still haven't figured out how to produce water. We're trading for it right now. Landing pad increases trade routes. Provides three robots. We actually need to stop trading out the tritium so that we can build another tritium thermal generator. Well, just on principle, I should have a landing pad somewhere. Okay, trading panel. Let's just cancel that arrangement. Oh, there's another happy spot. Let's explore the happy spot. And why don't we build another greenhouse farm here? Load balancing station. Nine silicates. Plus one power per turn for every three mines owned by the city. Eco homes. Cost science. Increases population. We've got all sorts of different kinds of homes, huh? Well, let's try that. We'll want more population, so... Earthworks. Let's get the modular apartments, though. Now we've got two of these modular apartments ones. We need a lot more food. Well, a couple of more titanium and we can get the brine electrolyzer. I want to sort of seclude the tritium thermal generators, so I'm gonna remove that and tuck this into this corner here. So that it doesn't hurt our happiness. The red is just a color code, so that doesn't mean that that city's unhappy or anything. 
Well, we'll see about more research projects that cost science. Terraforming initiation. Earth suggests we initiate the terraforming process. What? <laughs> that was quick. Uh, they provided us with a CO2 factory to pump greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. I, I didn't think we needed help with that, but... Uh, first step in increasing the planet's temperature and atmosphere density. Okay. You now have a project uh, which can help you terraform the planet. Temperature, the oxygen levels need to be increased, oceans need to be formed, and the atmosphere needs to be densified to shield the surface from radiation. What about the need to not let the atmosphere escape and have the magnetic... whatever. Anyway, some projects progress these terraforming parameters. Alright. So, we've got an entertainment center. Uh, who cares about the CO2 thing? Well, that's not selectable here anyway. Definitely entertainment center. Support is everything. So where is this? This is a CO2 factory. Of course, it doesn't want to sit near any population. We need more power for it. We need 12 power. We only have four right now. This location is just in the middle. I should never have expanded to here. Adjacent population. Well, this habitation module is too tucked in. It's not going to be adjacent population. We can relocate buildings, though. I'm going to relocate this one to here. But th that's not adjacent, though. Oops. Uh, relocate. To here. Relocation made people unhappy about that. Well, maybe it's just the robots that are unhappy. Okay, we have a satellite ready to go. Let's check on this location. Satellite. Get our support. Hey, more support. Um, but let's get closer in things. Water. Small hint of water. Small hint of water. Well, we're not going to get too much more than small hints, are we? Well, let's explore this small hint of water. Big hint of water. Ooh. Okay. I'll have to do that next. You can only hold eight projects at a time. Oh, they really are like cards. Drag and drop one into the trash to sell it for science. We should just build one. Brine electrolyzer. Every building owned by the city that costs water. Then we should put it in Blue Caldera. Let's just tuck it in a dead end location. We should get some more greenhouses there. Well, that's still more than eight. I want to keep the entertainment center. We already have the modular apartments, and they have benefit if they're next to each other. We'll get rid of the eco-homes, but then they cost science instead of food. We don't have much food. Get rid of Marcia? I'm guessing that we're gonna have radiation events, but okay, we'll, we'll get rid of Marcia. Next. I don't want a uh, I don't want any of that. Um, we'll build a landing pad though. Plant location. Oh, like here. Okay. Well, this un uh, unhappy place maybe. Okay, we've got a landing pad there. So it needs a whole location like that for the landing pad. Okay. Well, we really need to explore this large deposit. Not enough power to explore there. Well, shoot. Destroy two rocks for free this turn. Well, we might as well, because those cost power and... We don't have much power. Okay, next turn. Oh, uh, this... 
Reaching the next level will increase the radiation prediction in all your cities. Does that mean we have three atmosphere to begin with? Okay, we can research something. I don't know about the landing pads. We can get Marsha back though. Another CO2 factory? We haven't even built the first one yet. We'll get Marsha back. Resources. Power. We need power. Cultured Meat Lab. Provides three support per turn. No kidding. It costs science and nitrates. We can build it immediately. Hospital though. That's seven happy per turn. Ah, oh, now you give me these things. Oh, meat versus health. That's a tough call, but this is much more support per turn. This one produces food per turn too, though. I gotta go with the meat, I think. It doesn't have to be next to anything. We can build it in a new city. Okay, yes, everybody's really happy now. Well, let's uh, clear more rocks for free. Oh, I guess we can build that over here. It only gives us one habitation module's benefit, though. We can move the tuber farm later, though. Okay. That'll give us a little bit, a little bit more happiness. I'm all about the happiness. Resource income. We, we haven't built many mines, we only got those two. Okay, but we'll end our turn for now. Scientists are making progress on adapting life to Martian conditions through bioengineering. Experimenting with different genetic variations. Uh, get Sinophyta. Ask uh, some science. Can spread bacteria. Well, just what I always wanted. Minus two temperature. Some prestige. I don't even know what prestige does for us. Plus one atmosphere, plus one oxygen. Bacteria spreader. And then this is another bacteria spreader. Spreader. This is plus two atmosphere. Minimum requirements, zero temperature. Negative two temperature. Seems more tolerant, right? Yes? That needs a specific climate zone. I should. Uh, they didn't even tell me to look at the climate zones before. Recharge duration 13 turns. This one's 9 turns. But this one has gives oxygen as well. I liked photosynthesis. This one is naturally resistant to a variety of conditions. Hmm. Let's get the one that can do oxygen as well. We've got our first life forms. Each climate zone can have one bacteria, one plant, and one animal. Uh, to spread bacteria in a climate zone, we'll need to cr construct the bacteria spreader first. Now we can spend science, but we don't have enough. Development center. This one's also got science. Research one extra project per turn can have two extra projects in reserve. Well, that's important too. University gives us more science. Or silicates. Delivery drones. More robots. Hmm, I don't know if we're gonna get enough silicates, but we can try. We we'll probably have to get rid of a card though. Bacteria spreader was just given to us. Hmm, K? I really want the habitation module or something like that. We're so close to being able to do eco homes. Maybe we can get something that can give us. This one gives a little bit of scientific interest. I have a lot of scientific interest in that water. Okay, let's try and get that water there. Click that stuff and get that food. Close. Wait, we can do eco homes. Let's do eco homes. Can I move you? Okay, and I'll put eco homes here. 
and that makes everybody way happier. I have no idea what the maximum on this is, but we're sky high on that number right now. Okay, so we got some of that. I would like to pick up some random tritium. We can explore one more location. And if we can do tritium, we can build another thermo generator. And we need power anyway, but they'll let us use an extra card. Um, there's some tritium over here. And possible water. There's some science and a lot of water here too, too though. Let's just get this large hint of tritium. Yeah. Okay. And that will let us build the thermal generator. Since we've got those sort of isolated. Okay, good. We've used enough cards. We haven't gotten to the CO2 factory yet. But we've got a little bit more power now. Getting more power. We could do some trading. But I basically need everything, don't I? We could do with more titanium. We've got a mine. I wonder if we can upgrade the mines. No indication yet. Next. More research projects. Well, you know, they like those cultured meat labs. But I should... We need a lot more habitation modules, so I'll pick that for now. Nitrates. Well, we aren't really bringing in the nitrates either. But nothing down here really needs nitrates. These two places have silicates, so that'll give us some. Okay. And titanium also. So we can... We can't really build that yet because we need to control the location and we don't... We can build a research station here, but we still don't control it yet because this city doesn't have enough ability to control things. This one built a, a got an extra control point. I'll wait on that. Oh, I didn't actually mean the dome park, but okay. I just still have my mouse clicked down. Hmm, we need way more food. Okay, I'm gonna trade for stuff. We need way more food, and we need less water and silicates maybe. For a little while. Oh, I guess the silicates I want for the university, so... We can diminish water, apparently. I never expected Mars to be trading out water, but here we are. And titanium, let's get some titanium maybe. It's the only thing close to blue caldera that's really gonna be useful. Now it doesn't really allow us to build a mine of for titanium there, unfortunately. Well, that was a bust. I don't even know where the climate zones are where it might be good to have the bacteria. No, I guess these... amount of oxygen is negative three. Temperature is negative one. I think the bacteria that we picked had needed negative two. That's negative one. That's zero over there. We're negative two here in Borealis Minor, so this area will be good for the bacteria. Okay, but we're not there yet on the science. I think we'll just proceed right now. Oh, we need to diminish projects. Hmm. I'm, I'm pretty confident about the support right now. I think we'll just dump the domed park. Okay, new leader time. Uh, Baria Robotics. More robotics. But I guess, you know, drone hub. Construct a drone hub for free. Hmm. Three more projects are proposed this turn. Gain four science. Increases power production by one. For every new four power you start producing. That's complicated. 
Henry Carnegie, global warming, I guess causing global warming, it looks like. Um, import CO2 from Earth. Oh, if only it was that easy. Um, gain three atmosphere, three heat, and three su five support. Gosh, he's like a, a terraforming magnet here, or magnet, or something. Uh, mind venting immediately produces five heat. Five again, if only it was that easy. But negative twenty-five support per resource it mines can only be done once per mine. Importing CO2 is hilarious, though. Uh, this, this is like the way of science here, though. This is the way of madness, basically. This one's too good in a way. Yeah, that, that's dirty. It is dirty. It says dirty right here. Dirty approach. Uh, but... Yeah, let's just try and go the way of science here. We'll just produce atmosphere like this. Eight power produces atmosphere. We just don't need to put people right next to it. Gas factory. Seems fair. All right, let's um, place a glass gas factory. We can do that. We don't want people around, but this isn't people. No, let's explore. No, we really should explore something properly lucrative, I think. That's a lot. But we're not finding places that this blue caldera can expand into. But then some things like the bacteria spreader just get plopped there. Now this Borealis Miner has negative two. So if we control this spot with blue caldera, that'll work, I think. So I guess, even though it's a barren sort of place, at least it won't p make people unhappy. We need to build a habitation module here, but we still haven't got enough food. Every now and again we happen to find food when we explore because there's like a crate left over. Construct a drone hub for free though. We could get an extra population at Cold City just with a drone hub, right? Let's put you as a buffer for with the power plants. Yeah, now we have a uh, maximum of nine. All right. Yeah, that's a helpful little capability. And now this can expand a bit. I've got a silicon deposit here. I've been wanting silicates. I don't know if we need to mine them specifically right now, but titanium is much more important. But this location doesn't have any easy grasp of titanium. Then again, making them a little bit unhappy, just one unhappiness isn't too bad. We'll wait on that expansion. Maybe we can expand into here and grab the titanium, we'll see. More likely here, but I don't think we can expand all the way out there. A city could be founded here, that would be more helpful. Okay, yeah, let's wait. Okay, I have more demands. Photovoltaic field. Well, I need more power. We, we are pretty strapped for power. Soil factory. Yeah, let's get the power. That doesn't piss people off if they're close by, right? Okay, let's get that in Coal City. Oh, is that a whole... That needs a whole square? Yeah, plant location. Well, this Rocky Plains is, as far as I can tell, useless, so... Oh, but we have to expand into it. I was hoping to put my bacteria spreader here, so that's not good. Canyon view, though. We could get a viewpoint tower and put the photovoltaic. Maybe we can put more than one thing in one location, though. Let's get the canyon view. Sure. Let's get the viewpoint tower, too. And can we voltaic? Oh, no, we can't get the... The little tower and the photovoltaic field. 
I'm afraid that's just gonna have to be the photovoltaic field. It's not really that useful a thing. I mean, it gives us a little bit of power, but it's just one power per turn, but we're taking a whole space like that. Oh, did I accidentally do the wrong thing? I think I did the wrong thing. I wanted to... I wanted to export that and import this. I think I did that the wrong way around. We could get more drones, but uh, these drone hubs occupy a lot of space. I was hoping... I think the ones in Blue Caldera... This robot hub is two robots. These drone hubs... They take up a space, but it's only one robot. We still need more silicates. I spent some silicates. I should have waited on that. We wanted that university. Let's explore this one with its silicates, though. Potential silicates. Oh, not enough power. Cost six to explore that location. All right, we'll wait then. No, but that's misusing her capabilities. We'll get the titanium here. Okay. What's that? Import tritium from Mercury? Gosh, that would be a hard trip. Man, anything would be easier than that. Robot hub. Now I've uh, seen the light on robot hubs. But I've also been pining for a hospital. Can't build it immediately though. But maybe if we got the science, we could. So we'll pick that up and maybe we can explore some spot with some science. There's some science over here. Only costs two power to explore it. Okay. All right, that's enough for the hospital. Let's get that into Cold City. Um, it should be near Peoples, so let's have the Peoples in this corner, maybe. Away from the power plants. Probably nicer. Okay, that gives us a lot more happiness points. I don't think the modular apartments were that good an idea. They cost extra titanium. It gives extra happiness, but only with them right next to each other. We'll try and build both of them, though. School. More science. Well, I, I approve of school. Import hydrogen from a gas giant. Well, easier than mercury, anyway. Gains 50 atmosphere, huh? Cost 14 tritium. Well, we should get that. Uh, 50 atmosphere. We're already getting atmosphere, though. That's... The other stuff is the stuff that we're not gaining. Science we need desperately. That's why I wanted a university. Let's try for the school. I don't know. We're probably going to have to get rid of something, though. Six silicates. I should have picked something with science. Then we could have built the school. Shoot. I think that's all we can do. And uh, uh, yeah, it's not happy that we have so many cards. Well. I'll dump a habitation module for now. Uh, um, the Marsha. I'm gonna dump Marsha again. Tuber farm again. Well, we have the nitrates, so that's good. What's this skyscraper? Reduces support, but, and we really don't have the food. But two population in a square. Later on, that'll be good. Okay. We can build a school, and school wants adjacent population. Relocating the robot hub. 
And we'll put a school here so it gets some benefit. Okay, so we've got the school and then the tuber farm. We only got a lot of slots here, so. Yep, tuber farm can go here. And now we can build some habitation modules. Let's get the modular apartments. Yeah, let's build one here and then one there, maybe. Okay, so we'll have to wait for the second one. This city can expand. There's a large meter right here. Harvest its resources. I'd like a silicate mine. Maybe we're expanding to that and we're building that mine. I'll have a silicate mine. All right. How do we even have this much water anyway? We get no water per turn. Atmosphere keeps going up too. Science is what I need so I can get bacteria. And bacteria will save the world. Could do with more titanium, but uh, there's a science location over here. That's really far away, but... Uh, well, we can use the satellite for that one. Okay. Let's get this titanium large hint here. Oh, not enough power. Only have one power. I think we'll just have to leave that be. Okay, year 2100. Exploration satellites. An exploration action, the recharge time is a fixed three turns. So we already had one, but we can get another one. Android hub is more efficient for the robots. Hmm. And then luxury workshop. Now I'm saving up my silicons for university. We're good on support right now. Exploration though. I swear, most of our resources have just been because we've explored stuff. And we can do that immediately, but I'm saving up the science. I'll get this one. Can we explore that now? Uh, yeah. Titanium? Not much else I can do right now. Can we import science? I guess so. Let's just import science. Now we can get silicates like this. I've been wanting silicates. So let's get these silicates. Research center. Two extra projects. I don't have enough science for that. Orbital telescope on Phobos. Hmm, now you're talking. More science per turn. We just need some extra tritium. Yeah, let's get that. Oh, I, no, it's asking us to complete a space project. I thought that would end up as a card here. Oh, we just started our first space project. Transport its required resources to it using your trade routes. Oh, okay, it's here. Okay, so we need to open a trade panel. And we, we can no longer use these trade thingies if we want to transport uh, resources to Phobos. Okay, we shouldn't do that immediately. But, I mean, we could send some tritium there. Let's start that. Okay, so that'll take quite a while. But then we get a 3 science return boost. This is pretty close to Blue Caldera. Let's just research, uh, look at this one. Okay, collect those. Okay, let's in turn. Scientists are making progress on adapting life again. We haven't er, er, dealt with their previous attempt to do that. So we could get Tundra Forest. That's, a, that's very complicated, it needs one rainfall. Minus one temperature. That we can find. And it's bacteria again. Plus one heat per turn. Oh, we can probably change the initial bacteria thing. Well, it can only be... Well, I don't know how it works. Let's just pick that. We're on, on 
more solid foundation with bacteria. Food factory minus one support per turn for one food. Costs power. Eh, we've got better ways of making food. We do need more power. Combined living center. Plus one population and plus one robots. Three power, three titanium, 30 food. Oh, well that's space efficient. Got a lot of habitation things sitting around though. Well, we'll pick it up and probably junk it maybe. Just like we do with many habitation things. Alright, well... I, I'm interested. It's it's fairly straightforward. I mean, it's not it's not fancy. I mean, it's not a it's not a very big game either. I mean, it's a very straightforward sort of strategy game, but I guess uh, it does sort of suck you in anyway. So we'll see. Uh, I do want to get around to actually terraforming things, I suppose. So perhaps I will continue this. We'll find out. Anyway, for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.